Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 16 career mode. We're playing as Barcelona here today. Now guys, in today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is the second leg in the Super Cup of España against Atletico Bilbao. And then later on in the episode, we have a match against Atletico Madrid. We also have transfer deadline day for August. And we managed to sign the youngster, the German beast, Leroy Sane. A fair few of you recommended and uh, suggested him in the previous video and in previous career modes. He is heavily linked to... Barcelona in real life and could quite possibly sign for them. I will try to go for Pablo Dybala. I really do like him on FIFA, but unfortunately, because he's recently joined Juve, we can't manage to sign him. So, 28 yards out just before the ninth minute, Luis Suarez steps up against Atletico Bill Bow, dinks it off the post and puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 and celebrates with his teammate David Villa runs over to him mind you I was running towards the camera <laughs> but mind you David Villa is a welcomed sight in the celebration of course now if you haven't gone and checked out the last video I highly recommend you do we managed to sign three new players I always like to in like career modes to bring back a former legend especially we've got an abundance amount of money. I usually bring back Ronaldinho. Unfortunately, he isn't in FIFA. My One of my favorite players. Probably my favorite player of all time, to be honest. For me. Um, but, unfortunately, he's not in the game. So, we managed to bring back David Villa. A beast in FIFA 12. Fresh off the bench. Makes it 2-0. We managed to beat uh, Atletico Bilbao. 3-2 in the league. And he scored the winner. Now, he's come fresh off the bench here. Made it 2-0 on aggregate. The other three players we managed to sign was Paul Pogba. Uh, we also signed Alexi Sanchez and obviously David Villa. Now, I have brought Suarez off at the 60, what, fifth minute. I was umming and ahhing who to take the free kick um, because I do like to have a right-sided player. Like, you want to have a right-sided uh, player to go for the shot and he nearly put it in the back and then that was a sensational shot uh, from the current and former Barcelona man, Lexi Sanchez, fresh off the bench, hits the crossbar, but we managed to prevail and win our first piece of silverware in the Super Copa Espana. Obviously going for the travel, hopefully I can win the La Liga, the Champions League, and the Copa del Rey, which is the domestic cup in the Liga. So let me know in the comment section down below players you'd like me to sign in January. We could bring back uh, Thiago as well, who plays for Bayern Munich. I do like to bring back a couple of former players. There's Alexis Sanchez there, back in the Barcelona kit. We didn't actually play overly too much for him. Now, I have made the decision. I'm going to be playing um, Paul Pogba up front. I, I just haven't been feeling Rakitic. I, uh, like I said, I want to be very critical. I had always been bringing off Iniesta on the 45th minute because he's getting a little bit older. And he is slowing down as well. And I've got Paul Pogba on the bench, which is one of the best youngsters. We just can't seem to get him into the side. So we're going to be swapping Rakitic out, and we're going to be bringing Paul Pogba in at the cam. Sergio Aguero has left Manchester City to join uh, Bayern Munich for eighty million. And because that transfer's come in, Thomas Muller has actually left and joined Arsenal, which is absolutely insane. We have a couple of offers here as well. Rakitic... Offer from PSG. Adriano is going to Celta Vigo. 30 years of age, 78 overall. Pretty much dead wood in the club. And we need some more money to push through the signing of Leroy Sane, who is uh, still relatively cheap, but he is going to cost us a little bit. 76 overall, 19 years of age. He's worth 8.5 million. We'll put in a bid of 13. And let's see what Schalke um, has to say. Obviously, bursting on in the scene against uh, Real Madrid last year in the Champions League. He scored an absolute cracking goal and made himself known. He was actually really good in my FIFA 16 uh, Euros 2016 Germany career mode. Um, so we're going to be signing him up, hopefully, here today. We're coming to the dying hours of the... August transfer window. Only a couple more hours left in the window. Godin has left Atletico Madrid to join Chelsea for 50 million. That's a pretty big signing out of La Liga. Obviously, he's going to weaken Atletico Madrid quite significantly. We're coming to the dying hours of the window. I think I accidentally mentioned before that we paid 13. We actually put in a bid of 12 million. We've got one hour left. 
And Leroy Sane accepts the contract. 19 years of age, 76 overall. He's worth 8.5. We paid 12 million. Obviously, bursting onto the scene for Schalke, scoring a cracking goal against uh, Real Madrid. But the German will be joining a lot of, well, former German counterparts. Six foot. I'm quite surprised that he's actually six foot. He's, he's a quite tall player, but hopefully we can see a bit of him in uh, the upcoming future. So, guys, let me know in the comments what players you'd like me to sign in January. I will go for Pablo Dybala as on screen, 21 years of age. It's just because he just signed from Palmero for 35 million and he just doesn't want to leave Juventus, which is, hey, what are you going to do? Also, we're going to be hopefully trying to go for Thiago. I would really like to bring him back. 83 overall, 24 years of age. Definitely can use him in and out around the squad. Not entirely sure about Pedro. Maybe he's a little bit older, but at least some of these youngsters will have a higher potential. After the window, we currently have 9 million and 40,000 uh, 40, in wages. And uh, this is the side we're going to be facing for the rest of the season, uh, using for the rest of the season and facing against Atletico Madrid. Obviously, the classic front three, Neymar, Suarez, Messi. We're going to be playing Paul Pogba up front, Iniesta on the right, Busquets, Alba, Pique, Mascherano, Dani Alves and Stegen, David Villa, Alexis Sanchez and Rakitic coming fresh off the bench, along with Leroy Sane and Touraine and Vermaelen. So we have an away match against Atletico Madrid. It's going to be interesting to see how we perform against them. They don't have their main man, Godin. I believe he could have even been the captain. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Let me know in the comment section down below, you Atletico Madrid fans. Who is the captain of Leth Atletico Madrid? I think it is uh, Godin. But he's gone to Chelsea for $50 million, which is absolutely insane. So let's have a look what they're playing. They're playing Greatsman and Vetti up, fr Vetti up front. Oliver Torres, Koke, and Atletico Madrid start off the first half. Koke could be a very good signing. I have signed him in previous Barcelona career modes. He's a pretty good player. Neymar gets the first shot off here to start the first highlight for Barcelona. Dani Alves gets a cracking shot off, nearly spills into the back of the net, but amounted to no more than a corner kick, and we didn't even capitalize off the highlight. Vettio whips it into Oliver Torres, and unfortunately we have a boring... Neil, Neil, draw. Guys, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my social media links, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Take care of yourselves. Make sure to have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for more content on my channel. Goodbye.